So what's happening, my beautiful people? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and here you'll find fragrance reviews for the common men and ladies at not so expensive prices. So I was walking through Marshalls the other day and came across a Lacoste that I've never seen before. So I figured, let me buy it, tell you guys what I think about it. Um, it is Lacoste Red. If you want to know what I think about it, stick around. I'll see you in a second. Thanks. So what's happening, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for stopping by. Um, so like I said, I was at Marshall's and saw this Lacoste Red. It is a 125ml 4.2, so it's a pretty nice size. I think I paid maybe like 25 30 bucks for it so it wasn't too too expensive but i've never seen it there and i figured maybe you might be going through marshall's and see it and want to know what what uh you know what it's all about it's very light in terms of uh the amount of notes that it has it just has four notes so we'll we'll go through that in a minute um it came out in 2004 so it's fairly old it's 19 19 years old um and like i said i've never seen it um but it has the usual, it actually reminds me a little bit of Ferragamo's bottle, just a little bit. Um, it's atomizer is not bad, pretty good distribution. It smells really, really nice. Um, it comes across, uh, as far as its accords are concerned, as woody, fruity, green, aromatic, fresh, earthy, balsamic, and warm and spicy. Um, its top notes are green apple, its middle note is pine tree, and then its base notes are patchouli and vetiver. So it's, it's a little earthy, and that comes off from the patchouli. Um, you do get the vetiver, the pine tree, I guess it's, it does smell a little green. It doesn't remind me of Christmas or anything, um, but you do get a little bit of the green apple. It's a very, let me see. It is a very, very nice scent. Um, it's clean. It's it's not flowery, but the vetiver gives it a little bit of, you know, of oomph to it. Um, and it's a really nice scent. Um, like I said, the green apple is there and you get that more in the mid than you do at the beginning. But... Still a very, very nice scent. Here's the problem. It does not last long at all. Apparently, back in 2004, it used to last a really nice long time. People really liked it. People still like it from everything I've seen. But the problem is that its longevity is horrendous. Like, its longevity may be now an hour, if you're lucky, two. Um, and then you just have to respray. So, you know, you respray. But yeah, it doesn't last that long. It becomes a skin scent really quickly. So projection, not that great either. Um, but the scent is very, very nice. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I just wish it lasted longer. Like that's, that's the problem. So is it worth purchasing? I would say at the, the rate that I've seen it for me, as far as longevity, projection, sillage, um, if it was out there for $19.99, I would buy it. But $30, $40, bucks, do not do not do it. I, I would say don't do it. Um, if you see it on clearance or something and it's, you know, $9.99, definitely buy it. Because it's not a bad scent whatsoever. But, you know, unfortunately, they've probably reformulated it so much that it just does not last that long. So, you know, do with that what you will. So that is Lacoste Red. Um, this is the newer bottle. It used to come in a, in a red bottle, a uh, round red bottle. Um, it no longer does, but you know, they've, they've reformulated the bottle as well, I guess. Uh, so yeah, if you see it for a cheap price under 20 bucks, I would say, yeah, it's a, it's a good purchase cause you just respray and you'll be fine. It's a nice summer, spring, fall fragrance, um, more manly than, than females. So I wouldn't even say it's unisex. I would say this is more of a, of a guy scent. 
Um, I would probably buy this as a gift for, you know, a 17, 18, 19 year old. I don't really see it more for a mature man. It's not a scent that I would ever wear out on a date. I would ever wear out if I'm in a suit. Um, it's more of just a hangout kind of fragrance that you put on, you know, to do an errand or something like that. Uh, so yeah, so that's my take on Lacoste Red. I hope you like this and make sure you guys know what to do. Subscribe, comment, you know, and, and make sure you hit that like button. Um, but yeah, as always guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks guys. Bye.